functor in in the definition of Google says that it's just a function, an operator. What the heck? Okay, let me see definition. That's a functor C++, f, plus, I think. A functor f from C to D is a mapping that associates each object x in C, an object f x in D. Okay, it yeah. makes sense. Associates to each morphism x f is x to y in C a morphism f of f of f x to f y in d such that the following two conditions hold f y d okay so the id mapping and yeah. then like the composition mapping wait so f is a functor but so i see a, a functor is something that applies to objects and functions right yeah or morphisms they don't have to be functions okay so like that shit distributes to like the input of the function and the output of the function. Okay, I kind of see, I kind of see. So what it's doing is you have like a functor. So we'll say that it's a, well, well let's just say it's a conversion from one data structure to the other while retaining the data essence. As in like the data, it's still, it's still the same, but it's just changing the way it's represented abstractly. Like, is it a string? Is it an integer? You know. Anyway, um, so it, so the way I'm looking at it is basically if you had a function that takes in a string, gets you the first character, right, and returns that character, right? Yeah. And then if you have a functor f that converts a string to integer, right, um, and then you have a function that oh yeah that oh, no I'm just repeating myself. So I'll put it this way: you have a function that takes in the string and um, gives you the first character, right? And then yeah. you have a function that takes a string, gives you a character, and we'll, um, and I will say that's a functor, right? So, and then so what you can do is you can take a string, get the first character with that function, or you can convert that string to a um, integer, and then apply the functor to that function and use that new function or whatever you want to call it to take the integer, get the character, and that's it, right? Does that make sense? I'm not sure I get it. So basically, where, where do I send this? <clears throat> so we'll say like it's F like is... like a functor from... So we'll say like F is a string tr to int, right? Or no, fuck, yeah. that's a F, upper F. Is it, that's a functor, right? This one, right? But then you have to get some kind of category for a string and int. But that's fine or no? Well, not really like those aren't categories by themselves. So what makes a category? You have objects morphisms between them and then you have identity and composition of morphisms. Okay, we repeat. Basically objects or yep. points. Yep. For example, those could be like sets. Yeah. Yeah. Or well, the between them. Between so the points. Like functions. So yeah, between so, the points. So a morphism is a function that is closed under that category, we could say, right? Doesn't have to be a function. Like for oh. example, orders. 